What's up, the Comic Coalition here for another video for you guys today. I'm over here at Walmart. I already snagged up another um, figure out of the Captain Marvel wave. I'm still looking to complete the wave. I wasn't going to, but since I'm so far in, I might. I might. I'm not sure. If I could keep finding them at Target and Walmart, I will, but I won't pay like $25 at Pinky from GameStop and stuff like that. The hell is this? Yeah, it's kind of hard. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to toy hunt and stuff in here when they're restocking constantly and there's noise like that going on. Can't get anything done. They also had another figure out of the way, but I already had her. And it looks like. They're getting some of the Shazam toys from the Shazam movie. What does this do? Hmm. I guess. Will we see some DC um, multiverse Shazam figures? Who knows? trying to um, record pops over here without hearing the cupid shuffle ignorantly playing in the background while trying to shop at walmart god it was so effing sickening but here we are in the pop section i haven't seen this yet it looks like they still got some lebrons over here so as I'm going through a lot of the clutter in my room, I actually kind of forgot I had this figure right here. I need to go put it on my SH figure art shelf. All right, so now I'm over here at Walgreens. It's looking ugly, y'all. Uh, and they're playing crazy music. But yeah, I did not see anything over here. It's kind of barren. Sucks. I know a lot of people were on um, looking for this spider-man new or pop or whatever they started shipping them out on walgreens.com they have a couple of them over here so i'm now over here at target looks like the captain marvel wave is somewhere around here well at least we have one figure out the wave anyway still have yet to see aquaman and I cannot find the Kingpin Build-A-Figure Wave anywhere. So if you guys have seen it down south, let me know. So I came across the um, Captain Marvel Yon Rog. I have no idea who this guy is. So leader of the Star Force team, Yon Rog, is here among the Kree. And key assets is supreme intelligence in the war against the scrolls. So this is not the character that Jude Law plays, I guess. I'm not sure. And I came across the villain Talus. I believe this is Ben Middleston's character. But yeah. So I came across these two in the wave. I haven't seen these two yet. First time seeing those. And, shout out to Chris, my first sighting finally, 
of the archive wave. We got Luke and we got IG88 here. But one thing we were talking about, it seems like someone came through <coughs> and just smashed up these boxes. Cause um, I don't know about you guys, but I was thinking about probably keeping these on card. But definitely looking at the packaging here, definitely don't think I'm gonna keep these on card if I do pick these up. Yeah, see the package in there on the side. Damn, that sucks. That sucks big time. I really want this figure. I think I might. I don't know. I think I might pick it up anyway. Possibly. But I'm definitely. I'm gonna leave these two guys behind. I'm not too too hype about building the um Cree Century build a figure. But I do already have a couple figures out of the way, but I'm not, I am not feeling this figure that much. Talos I do want, but I think I'll leave him behind because I think I'm going to pick up either IG-88 or Luke today. How do you guys feel about these new three and three quarter inch figures that come in these little tubes? I actually think it's pretty cool. I like the package. I might pick up a couple of them one day. Not today, but I'm definitely digging the tubes. And also, when it rains, it pours. It looks like they have all the new 375 inch Star Wars Resistance figures over here. My first time seeing these out in the wild. What do you have? Oh, a Stormtrooper. I can never ever have too many Stormtroopers. Ooh, a Gold Stormtrooper. Gold Stormtrooper? You say? Should I get that? I don't know. Gold Soul Trooper? That's pretty dope, man. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Y'all guys, if you don't know, I love my three and three quarter inch figure still. That's where it all started. So I don't want to leave you Storm... Not Storm Trooper. My stuck on Stormtrooper, sorry, that gold Stormtrooper has got my mind going crazy right now. But I don't want to leave you Transformers on fans out of out. I saw this on Target exclusive Soundwave over here. And man, oh man. Not a big Transformers guy, okay? But damn, if that doesn't look nice right there. I kind of want it. But it's 50 bucks. So, I'm going to hold off, of course. But damn, damn, damn. That looks pretty awesome. Haven't seen Bumblebee yet. Definitely need to check it out. Now, I do have, for a person who doesn't collect um, Transformers, I do have Starscream. I do have Starscream. Let's see what else they have. Megatron. Yeah, they have Megatron. Jazz. Whatever this guy is. So all in all, this target is actually pretty stocked today. I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I showed Lego some love. I got tons and tons of Lego sets I have yet to build yet, but I saw some cool new sets over here at Target. This is the Venom right here. But what I'm really looking at, of course, is that new Captain of Marvel set. Pretty sure I'll wind up picking that up sometime soon. I always like to get my MCU sets, regardless if I build them or not. Looks like I just found a DC Primal Age playset. But. $10 though. It's wrongfully priced at 10 bucks. 
Maybe I should see if they'll honor it. I really feel like I should. So over here at Barnes and Noble's take it out. It looks like they have the boo. And look who's on her shirt. Majin Boo. <laughs> I'm glad I already got Majin Boo. He's my favorite SH figure arts in my collection. You're Him and Master Roshi. Okay. Here's Goku. Yes. Oh. oh, his box. Come on. I can work with that, I guess. Someone try to open it? Yeah, we gotta be careful they didn't steal like the right. accessories out of here. People these days. That's Napa. Napa? Yeah. Probably not gonna get Napa today because he's like 75. There goes another kid go to right Sorry. there. Where? Down there on the bottom. My go to. Right, right. This one's fun. How much is it? $51.99. Not too shabby for an SH figure arts figure. But I still wonder if they have the Vegeta that I have back here. Of course it's gone. I really wanted the Scouter. Scouter Vegeta. I think I'm going to set up Kid Goku today. So I did pick up that Luke over there. Got Kid Goku. I did pick up another Captain Marvel, Marvel Legends as well. It's been a nice toy hunt. All right, so I know it's kind of dark, but I am out of Barnes and Nobles now. I did pick up Goku. Um, I had a 15% off coupon, so I believe it came out to like 40, like I think what 45 bucks. I don't know. I gotta check the receipt, but definitely saved a few bucks there. I was just talking to one of my homies earlier about Barnes and Nobles, man. If you haven't already, if you do collect SH Figure Arts or Funko Pops or manga or read books or anything, I would suggest that you join um, the Barnes & Noble's membership. You get 10% off. A lot of times you'll get an extra 10% off, so you'll have 20% off of anything. And they send you coupons all the time for sometimes, you know, 5 bucks off, 15% off, 20% off. And all the coupons they send are... Um, it's stackable or you can add it to the 10% off you get with your membership so they send you a 20% off um, code or whatever and you got your extra 10% off that's 30% off SH figure arts figure and these figures cost you know you know over 50 bucks so saving 20 bucks 30 bucks on an SH figure arts figure or 10 bucks or 8 bucks I mean definitely doesn't hurt anybody so I suggest you guys go join that but I think now I'm about to go head back to the man cave and show you guys what I picked up. All right, now as you can see, I successfully made it safely back to the man cave and all my figures also arrived in one piece. So let's go ahead and show you the quick little haul that I picked up today. I picked up Captain Marvel from the new Marvel Legends wave. Um, as you guys already know, I did pick up the other Captain Marvel, but I wanted this one as well. I wanted the jacket. I don't know. I wanted the jacket and the cat. What do you want me to tell you? Um, do you really need both the figures out the wave? I don't know. But I'm very pleased with the face sculpts. So I wanted to have both of them. So picked up Captain Marvel. Also picked up... Sorry about that. Here it is. Without further ado, I picked up SH Figure Arts Kid Goku. Not sure why they spell his name like that right here. Um, never really read the manga like that. I had a few, but I mainly just watched the series. But yeah, picked them up. I think we paid how much did we pay for him? Like forty-five bucks. Forty-seven. Forty-seven bucks. Um, with my fifteen percent off coupon, so I was glad. To pick up Kid Goku. I'm going to have Master Roshi. Now I need Bulma. And I need that Kid Krillin. They said they're going to make seven figures. Out of the Dragon Ball wave. So I don't know who they're going to make. After um, Krillin, Bulma, Yamcha. We got three more to go. And I also picked up. Luke from the Archive wave. I wanted the IG-88. But his box was really beat up. And I was probably going to keep him on card. But this figure... Um, I actually want to open up, take some shots with. He's a cool figure overall. I do not own 
the original X-Wing pilot loot. So I, I kind of also want to find the extra one to keep on card up here with some of my other Black Series figures, but glad I picked this up. Shout out to Chris, always helping me on the toy hunts. I don't know what I'll do without you right now, man. You've definitely been um, killing it on the finds. I haven't been having luck lately at all. Probably because I get out there too late. But I think I'm going to unbox this guy for you guys, um, for you guys real quick. All right, so here we go. kind of liberating <sighs> hashtag fig sniffs use hashtag fig sniffs real toy collectors sniff their figs I'm telling you guys it's like a drug toys are my drug but yeah it's liberating just to rip open the packages like that you don't I don't do that with my toys often I don't know about you guys but ever so often it's nice that the money you spend you can just rip your figure open and just you know enjoy it so this is the x-wing luke i'm not going to get into a full review of him or anything just want to unbox him real quick i'm loving the face sculpt it's definitely a dope figure i know i'm going to have a lot of fun with this guy let me see how the helmet fits on him real quick before i end this video okay let's see all right, looks like I have some resistance here. But nevertheless, it definitely fits on there. That's dope. I'm liking it, I'm digging it for sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring it into this video. If you wanna see a full review for loot, let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already, I urge you to go follow me on Instagram at funkyopop underscore 912. There should be a link somewhere on my page or something. Definitely go follow me over there. You see all my hauls, all my pickups, quick little hunts, all types of toy related and pop culture related stuff over there. But as always, you have a good day YouTube and stay on the hunt.